Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder with myself Bateson87. This time round it's going to be a BPL cheap team really because a lot of you do enjoy my cheap teams and uh, I've always used them because I do like to sweat out Division 1 on the uh, Ultimate Team seasons and uh, basically win it with these type of teams. So this time we're going to be trying and testing this against Marshall 89 hd There will be a link to his channel in the description so make sure you go and show some love from this channel to his and uh, subscribe to him. So let's crack on with the team. As per usual the team will be under 20k because that's basically the benchmark I set for my cheap teams. And if you know of I see quite expensive or uh, ridiculously uh, overpriced as well. So let's crack on with the sweat. So the first... Uh, First player is going to be Begovic. Now you can have Julio Cesar in there as well, but he's quite a little bit more expensive than Begovic. Begovic you can get for just over discard. I think we paid yeah 700, which is just over discard value for him. But with his height um, and his reflexes and his diving, he's a pretty overpowered goalkeeper. So moving on to the defenders now. Most of you lot will be able to guess two of the three, maybe even all three of the defenders we are going to go and put in there. So the first one is going to be a Chelsea player and it is going to be David Luiz. 78 pace, absolutely perfect for that central position, uh, even though he does have a high attacking work rate. So moving on to Kabul. Actually, I'm not sure if he has a high attacking work rate, not 100% sure. But the uh, on the right hand side it's Kabul and on the left hand side it is our mate Mbia. Now when Beers, I didn't even realise he was that good until I actually uh, played against him a few times and he is absolute animal. All three of these guys are perfect for tracking back and catching the fast strikers. So that's a perfect defensive lineup there for me. If you lot can think of any cheap, better defenders then feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. So moving up into the defensive part of the midfield, we have Scotty P on the right hand side, also a Spurs player. And we have Teoti on the left-hand side. So both of these players' stats are unreal. And they both cost us under a K or a K. So he's 5 foot 11. He has 77 pace, 78 dribbling, 83 defending. And Scotty Pease, I think he's a bit better on the defending. No, same. 81 defending, 70 pace, 75 dribbling. And uh, 74 shooting, which is awesome for a few long shots. I'm moving on into the attacking side, and this is where it gets a little bit sweaty. So guys, remember to get your sweat bands out and get them put round your wrist and forehead. Maybe ask your girlfriend to give you a, a, a tissue, a tap on the head as well to get rid of that perspiration leaking from your forehead. So moving on to the right midfield, and it is Lennon. 92 pace, that's all you really need to know really. 92 pace and 4 star skills. And the left hand side is Junior Hoylet with 91 pace. But you do have an alternative there with Jarvis as well. But Hoylet's stats are a little bit better. And he also has three star skills. Not the best uh, skill move. Well, sk skill moves for that type of player in that position. You can get Lewis Nani if you feel like splashing the cash. But for a sweat team, I don't advise you to buy him. So he has 91 pace, 92, uh, 72 shooting, and 80 dribbling. Moving on up into the cam player, and this is one of the best players on uh, in the BPL, and it is Sessegnon. A lot of people do, if you are building a beast BPL team, Sessegnon you'll see in there anyway, because his stats are unreal. 5 star, weak foot, 4 star skill moves, 85 pace, 74 shooting, 78 passing, and 85 dribbling, which is absolutely awesome for that cam position. He did cost us 1.3 as well. So the strikers... You lot will probably guess one of them, but maybe will have picked the other. So the first striker is going to be Kone. Uh, <coughs> near the start of the game, he was an absolute animal. Four star skills, four star weak foot, 87 pace, absolute animal. And then the second striker, it isn't Peter Crouch. It isn't Fernando Torres. It isn't Luis Saha. It is Jibble Cisse, a non-rare animal. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot, 85 pace, 76 shooting, 72 dribbling. And he cost us 900 coins. And I'm pretty sure if you wanted to pick him up for cheaper, you could. So if you lot want accurate prices of this team, make sure to head on over to FUT Head, where there will be a link to this team and it will give you um, an accurate price for both PS3, Xbox and PC. But if you want individual prices of the players, then head over onto Ultimate DB. So now I'm going to show you the highlights of the game against Marshall. So remember to show him some love from this channel and I'll be back in a sec. 
So this is the team which Marshall puts up against us and it is a nice looking Mexican league team mixed with gold and silvers with a pacey centre back and a pacey as fuck striker. But being a sweaty team we have got, we are going to go ham on him and we're going to go sweaty as fuck. So on the corner we do uh, take the lead at 1-0 and this goal is a perfect example of what, what a sweat team is about. Just hoof the ball up and hope for the best and thankfully... Uh, we've got Coney on the other end of it who shows some little composure in front of goal and extends the lead to 2-0. So the rest of the game consisted of me um, sponging the pressure and then uh, going for the counter-attack but unfortunately it did stay at 2-0. So there we are guys, a 2-0 result, a squad builder done and a nice team for you all to go and build. So thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please leave it a like if you have liked it, subscribe if you're not subscribed, comment in the section below, and remember to check me out on YouTube, which is at, uh, not YouTube, Twitter, which is at Bates87. So thanks again guys, and I'll see you again next time. See you later.